Friends, hello. In this video, we'll talk about how to create an engraving using Leonardo da Vinci's techniques. Why did I raise this question? Frequently, if you observe the reviews, everybody, well, in the vast majority, does something similar to realistic, uncommon plot and so forth. But in our case, let's say with design, we don't always need photorealistic images. At times, we require graphics, we need illustrations, engravings, logos, ex libris, and all of this can also be done with the help of Leonard, our reliable and skilled professional. And I want to tell you how to do it. I will make two types of engraving. The first traditional, authentic, as if it was made by Albrecht Dürer. He is not utilized in Promote for no particular reason. This is my preferred engraver. He truly did cool things. And this is going to be the initial kind of engraving, genuine. The second type of engraving, it will be more contemporary. It will utilize the names of new, more modern authors, and you will observe the distinction. So the initial, more genuine form of engraving. Once again, you have the opportunity to find the prompt located beneath this video. What do we have in it? Initially, it commences with the name of the author, Albrecht Dürer, woodcut. That is an engraving. Oh, about, traditionally, our code is astronaut in woodcut style, that is, we include additional clarification that we should perform it in the style of engraving. The Dream Shaper model is employed operating in illustration mode. All right, let's proceed with the task at hand. Let's likely create a square format and generate a total of four different options. In parallel, while our space code is being generated, I suggest changing the plots so that you can see that this prompt is universal and can be used to create completely different compositions and plots. Let us make the assumption that it is Sea Dragon. Sea Dragon is the name we are considering for this particular scenario. Sea Dragon, once. And suppose who else? I am unable to provide any additional information at this time. Please let it be and refrain from intervening or taking any action that may alter its current state or course. Sun. Just an engraving with the sun, for example. I wonder how he will implement it. And let it be a collective of horses. I am unsure why he came to my mind, but now we have him in our possession. We will utilize Diplo for the purpose of translation and subsequently give it back to Leonardo. So we have four requests. With the same prompt, only the plot itself changes. We are observing our feline, Cosmonaut Cat, naturally. Well, by the way, he executed it in a cool and impressive manner. Appears to be an engraving. The cat is slightly more realistic than what I had anticipated. However, maybe this can be resolved by using upscaling. Now we will observe it. The cat engraving is intriguing. The newest choices aren't very realistic. The ears flew and duplicated somewhere. That is, such moments are possible, such moments need to be taken into consideration. Sea Dragon. The image looks good in square format, but overall it is an interesting and visually appealing result. Prompt justified himself, the sun. It was indeed quite an abstract request that he had received. Here are the sun, planets and rays precisely with the sky. Pay attention to how well he coped with the sky. In this particular text, we can observe a religious theme, Nimbus, another sun, and an additional character in the story. And a group of horses, looks fantastic. I don't particularly like that the faces of the horses are all turned in the same direction. I would like them to be as if in different directions, behaving more chaotically. But overall, the industry has more than justified itself. And let's try using upscale. Imagine this cat. I favored him the most. Exceptionally good strokes here in the background. The face of the cat looks cool as well. We should try to upscale it by using a refiner with refinement in medium mode to enhance its appearance. Clarifying. Simultaneously, let's initiate an alternative prompt that will enable you to create contemporary engraving. She will have a more modern look. She will have a more relevant appearance. Allow me to make a copy of it. This prompt, it is already more thorough, not as comprehensive as with traditional engraving. So what do we have here? So, 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 so. Now let's find flat illustration, bootcut design. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So where can we locate our clarification, please? What is it that we need to sketch? Why don't we just initiate it in that manner and proceed with the launch accordingly? The same model, the same mode. It's not quite clear what he will draw at this location. Ah, here is the representation of what he is drawing. 
It showcases Southeast Asia, workers, a mass strike instead of gangs, and has an atmospheric and highly detailed style. The request is quite interesting, and we will make sure to provide a simpler alternative instead of the original. Let's initiate with a herd of horses. Here, take a look at what transpired. Class. So this is also an engraving, but as you can see, as I promised, it is a more modern engraving with clearer, bolder lines. Ignore the unsuccessful faces. After Upscale and Refiner, these faces will become more realistic and lifelike. It's really cool. The propaganda picture turned out amazingly. It looks absolutely great. Well, and such a modern as if a comic book. Let's modify the plot and make it more intriguing and unexpected. So, I am going to remove the atmospheric. I will let it be just a herd of horses. No need for any additional elements. Once, group of horses. Subsequently, we will proceed with another request that solely focuses on the sun and excludes any other elements. Sunday, were there any other people in attendance at the event besides the sun? Sea Dragon and Space Cat, thus the Cat Astronaut. The feline explorer embarked on a cosmic adventure, venturing into the vast unknown of outer space. And the very last Sea Dragon, the one that exists at the end uh -huh. and has not been surpassed or replaced by any others, remaining as the ultimate of its kind. Let us go. So, a group of horses. Pay attention to the way he did it. It was really cool and visually appealing. Really looks cool. Here there is already a little more variety. Some horses are going forward, some are going backward. The ground and sky have less detail compared to authentic engravings. But this is precisely what we require for a contemporary interpretation of the engraving. Looks cool. You can take it directly, scale up, trace and convert it to a vector. Next, the sun. A different feeling. Suppose the first picture. No sun here. Only the bright sun beyond image. Why not? The prompt is quite abstract. Additionally, it is such a modern religious reading of the sun. The sun, with its radiant glow, resembles a halo, creating a mesmerizing and enchanting spectacle in the sky. Class. Just really extremely cool, extremely cool illustration. Very cool. Cosmonaut cat. As we can see, the style, as I expected, is more modern, less detailed but at the same time no less emotional and we wait so my colleagues create this let's not pay any attention to it and we patiently await the arrival of the last one the final sea dragon the one we've been longing for image generation has been running for 90 seconds however I have received quite a few requests from myself at this point in time so it is possible prepared the sea serpent turned out to be quite interesting and captivated our attention I don't even have any wow factor. In terms of graphics, it looks really cool and visually appealing. Very high detail, good clear strokes. And I'm very curious to see how this story will look after the upscale. I'm taking this dragon's head right now. I'm doing an upscale with a small clarification. It is important that our image does not change much. And I send it to the process. Simultaneously, I desire to execute the identical upscale, but for whom? Let's carry it out for these individuals. There are inquiries with countenances here. So in this instance, I will explain the mean and include smoothing techniques. Let's observe. Class. Results turned out to be really cool. And for me, I don't know about you, but I am more fascinated by graphic results as opposed to photorealistic ones. Because graphics is comparable to an element of human creativity, and all of this dynamics, working with spots, working with saturation, with detailing, changes impress me more than my photorealistic image does, as they add depth, vibrancy, and a sense of artistic expression to my work. So, comparing the original image. On this cheekbone, there are some not quite confident strokes, but they are not very noticeable. Let's compare how it looks with upscale. They have become more refined, but I can't say that it's fundamentally a different quality as the fundamental nature and essence of it remains largely unchanged. No, it got better, but globally everything remained in the same key. The picture is cool, it can be traced, improved and used in your designs. Either it would look very cool when embossed on a notebook, 
or when placed on the cover of some fantasy novel. Let's proceed to the previous image that I scaled. However, this is of course an entirely different matter altogether. I am extremely pleased. Please pay attention to the faces. The faces have become more detailed. They are not as detailed as the face in the foreground. It's understandable why we focus on our near plan. Everything that is situated in the background possesses the entitlement to be somewhat untidy, not entirely comprehensible or evident in its nature. Hence, the results are great. Prompts for these queries, engraved prompts, genuine modern engravings, you'll find in the video description. Try, do graphics, don't stop at photorealism. Until the next lessons.